Good evening Android Studio Coders. Welcome again to my Android Studio channel. Lansky here and tonight I'm gonna discuss how to add multiple button click events in Android Studio. In the past video that I have uploaded, I've shown you how to add button click events for a single button. Uh, tonight I'm gonna discuss uh, multiple button click events because a lot of requests have been received in the comments uh, asking uh, me to show them how to add click events for uh, multiple buttons so let's dive in so at first i'm gonna show you the framework here for you to be able to put everything in the proper perspective before we even write a single line of code so uh, let's have a uh, short review here in the single button approach uh, you first create a method with a view variable so here, uh, for example here, if you want to change the text color of a certain text view, so you create a method uh, which is a void method. Uh, and I have named it here change text color with a view variable. In this case, I name it V, but you can use any, any uh, letter or uh, word here. Uh, most of the time people use uh, also the word view uh, with a small uh, letter V so V I E W in my case I prefer to use a single uh, letter here so view V I name my view as V and then inside these curly brackets here it is where you put your code that would do uh, the action uh, after you click the button the action that would be executed should be inside this curly brace here. So next, the second step is to add a listener on your button XML using an on-click attribute. So you should link this method here inside the button XML code that you have uh, inside your layout. So let's go to the example. So here you have a button XML here, the code for your uh, button here in XML. So you add this line here android on click so you put an on click parameter and be sure to put the name of the method that shall be called uh, when the button is clicked so here uh, the, the way you type or spell uh, including the uh, cap it, uh, caps lock and the small caps should be exactly the same as the name of your method here so if you misspell this one it won't fire so uh, i suggest that you just highlight the name of the method copy and then paste inside this uh, place here so that's the better approach to avoid any uh, syntax error which would make your head ache debugging your error so the next is for us to do it in a multiple button approach so in a multiple button approach just change your code a little bit uh, what you should do is for you to be able to identify the id of the uh, of the button that was clicked so here uh, the same step create a method with a view variable so in this case i name the view as view and then uh, the method should be void so you can uh, this is the change here you, this switch statement here so so switch and then you call your view variable which I name view here and then that get ID this that get ID method here which is an internal method to Android Studio is to be able to for the for uh, uh, for Android Studio to get the ID of the of the met of the button that was clicked so for example uh, you have three buttons you provide three cases here inside this switch statement you have case for the name of the first button so you must change this that button name here so, so you have case space r that id that button name you supply the button name here and then you set a break statement here so that your code would not anymore go to the next uh, 
case because the first case was already uh, uh, you only go to the case of the button that was clicked so that your code would only execute this one so don't forget the break statement here so if you have another button put a case statement for your button for your button here so after between the case statement and the break you put the code that should be executed so I should have put a comment here uh, slash slash put the code for this uh, button ID so there is a code between the case for the button and before the break statement so in this case it seems that uh, we have three buttons here so this should be different button names this one the first here the second here and the third here and then you can uh, specify some code here or variable declarations if needed by your code inside the break uh, inside the switch statement and at the end you may put additional code if needed some code that should be executed irregardless of the ID or the button that was clicked if required by your code so next is for you to add a listener on your button XML using the on click attribute so this is the same as the second page or the sec uh, the second step for the single button approach but add the on click attribute to all your button XMLs do not forget to add the on click uh, listener in XML to all your button XML code so just the same uh, you put on every button here this on click and the name of the method that shall be called so let's dive into the code proper here so I have prepared a demo code here so what we have here is uh, I have a text view here and then I had three buttons with the text red blue and maroon and then uh, let's go to the XML view so the button I here uh, for the red I named bot btn uh, red btn blue and btn maroon and what should we be doing here is to create a method that shall be called by this button inside our, our main activity that Java so let's go ahead let's type public void okay let's name it the same change text color and pass a view variable so I prefer letter B here so it's in red because we have not yet imported the Android view that view so maybe we could just click here and click import class it's the same as typing it directly here so <coughs> what we need to do is to create a sw switch statement so switch uh, so that's v that get get id and then the curly brace here so you have three cases for that case r that id dot button red so you have colon there and you provide a break statement first let's go ahead and put the structure first before we even go to the uh, option uh, to the step of putting in the code that shall be executed so let's put the third ca uh, second case case r dot id dot bot button blue and don't forget your break statement so we have case r dot id dot button maroon and your break statement here so this code uh, you see it's still in it's th this one here it's still in uh, gray uh, gray color because you have not yet called this or uh, there is nothing that calls this method here or procedure here so the moment you 
copy this one and put it in a button on click event uh, so let's put it first on red so on click and paste you go back to your dot java and it's not in gray anymore it's in black because it has been called however uh, it would only work for the red button right now because uh, you have not yet included this one on the other button so let's put some code in our dot java here so oh, uh, the, uh, if you want to change the color of the text view we must define first a text view variable so that's what i'm talking about before that you need to put some can put code or variable declarations here if needed so let's go back to the code so let's put text view and find view by id let's assign it to the name of our text view so in here you can name it any other thing you can use tv if you want so tv for text view and then assign that tv variable so to the text to the uh, to the name of your xml for text view which is that text view and we can use this tv variable here for the text view to set the color of our text view so tv dot set text color to i have prepared my colors here so i have here black blue red maroon so let's go back r that color that red mm -hmm. uh, i should pass resolve color get resources okay so let's Let's change it. Mm -hmm. What's the problem here? It's not accepting my code. So let's debug first. So should pass resolve color instead of resource id here so it's suggesting that uh, i first call get resources so set text color dot get so let's check if get resources dot get color here so that's the correct syntax so let's pass our previous uh our previous code here r that color that red okay so okay so that's the correct syntax here let's uh test our code so actually uh this is uh not the main point of our tutorial it's our switch statement but nevertheless yeah uh, the correct syntax is set text color and then you call on get resources in, inside your uh, inside your uh, what you call this one so get resources and then that get color before you pass the r that color that the color name so let's test our code I hope this works and actually changes the color of the text view okay it's loading now it's the the emulator loads it's a little bit slow but uh, if it's already loaded and you load uh, build it again it's actually faster so it's waiting for the device to come online okay it's firing up now okay so 
if we click if we click blue and maroon nothing happens because it's not yet uh, provided with the code for their uh, case and it, uh, the change text color has not yet been included uh, they have no on click uh, attrib uh, attribute yet under XML so let's click red so the text actually changes to red however we have not change the text to this is red so that's okay we can do that so we can do tv that set text so this is red is that correct okay so we can do that so let's test it again i think it would it would be faster now so changes has had been applied so click red then this is red so okay so let's do this for for every colors that, uh, that we have for every button that we we have so we have three buttons let's add it to blue and to maroon okay so let's just change it to blue and this one change it to blue so for the maroon let's type the code so that we get familiar with the syntax so set text color so it suggests that we get resources first that get color and then r that id that no not that id that color that maroon okay so tv that set text to this is maroon so if we fire now it should be working this is red this is blue this is maroon not yet oh we have not yet included the on click attribute for blue and maroon so let's do that now let's just copy this one from red copy and then add to blue you can put it anywhere okay then that would fire our code for the two other buttons let's build again click red this is red click blue this is blue click maroon this is maroon so okay our code have fired perfectly so you now know how to uh, provide button click events for multiple buttons so let's review again our code so you have a void method here we uh with uh passed with a view variable and then you have your switch statement the other things here are just uh, uh added functionality but you have to remember the one that you have to remember here is your switch statement which is you called on the view variable whatever you name it in our case v so v that get id to get the id of the uh, the view that was clicked uh, your button is a view because any part any ui is really considered a view and then for each case of the button you have the case for your first button which is bo button red your second button button blue or whatever you name it you name your buttons and then the case for your third buttons and after each case you provide a break statement here and then inside uh, between the case and the break statement you provide the functionality that you want done whenever your button is clicked so let's show it again so that's it here this uh, this is the code that would fire for the red button this is red and this is the code that would fire for the blue button this is blue and the code that would fire for the maroon button this is maroon so thanks again guys for watching my video see you again on my next video bye bye